Are we live? Yes. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, And yeah. we're live. <laughs> Silence. Yes. Banging. Banging, banging. <laughs> yeah, we're ready to go. What an so honor. Last year, ja? Rastafari. Wow. What an honor to have you here with us today. Uh, thank you for joining us. I'm honored. You're welcome. And you know, today's a special day because we are celebrating the release of your new video without you from the top up from this new album that million times. So we're we're seeing it for the first time today here on vibe.com. Yes. Right after this chat, everybody in this live can go and log on to vibe.com and check out the new video without you. And Sister, can I just say congratulations on the new album, Million Times. You hear me good? Yeah, I'm not hearing it. It's breaking. Okay, what about, you hear me now? Yes, I'm hearing you. Okay, good. Well, you know, I was just starting with saying congratulations on the new album itself, Million Times. Well, thank you very much. Very beautiful album. <laughs> yes. A yes, million it times. Yes, it is. And, you know, everybody knows Sizzler for, like, you know, singing, singing about truth and rights, reality, black empowerment, burning out corruption. But, you know, this album reminded me that you also have sung some of the sweetest love songs. You know, your catalog is deep, but you really remind us that you... Sing a lot of love songs. <laughs> well, Jai's loving on. You, you got to deal with love to deal with the world because you dealing with the world. The world is love and people have been supporting you and they've been giving you the love. So you just got to put that ingredient in the music because we're doing it for the people. We're working for the yeah. people. So if you ain't got no love, you ain't going to work. You ain't going to last. <laughs> and if you love something, you won't destroy it. So we we'll spread that love to the women a million times all over the world. I Live. I, I love that. There are so many females right now who are ecstatic because this whole album is a love album, like the whole album, you know? So this yes. is a very special album that goes out for all the empresses, all the queens. You really dedicated something special to us here. Definitely. Perfectly and, so. And, you know, as I, was, I, I, I remember, um, you know, you, Earlier this, what a time to put this out because earlier this month was the anniversary of the divine coronation of their imperial majesties. Yes. So what a special... 90th coronation. Exactly. The 90th anniversary. Earlier this month. That's just awesome because we celebrated that in Jamaica and we celebrated um, His Majesty's coronation in Judgment Yard also. Um, I personally am uh, making my point of duty to celebrate um, holidays like these because if you are at the mountain, Bobo Shanti, or if you should be at the Nyabingi Center, you will be ch um, chanting and celebrating the coronation of His Majesty. It's a very important coronation for us because that's the representative, that's the head of the nation. Israel King is Israel's God. You know what I'm saying? His Imperial Majesty, Ayelis Lassie, Aija, Rastafari. And in remembering your king, you'll always remember your, you know, I'll yield to the king. I want to say Selassie, Marcus Garvey follows. I want to say Marcus Garvey, Prince Emmanuel follows. I want to say Prince Emmanuel, Nania de Maroons follows. The practices. Right of the roots and the culture of his majesty and his majesty is with his empress king alpha and queen omega so it's my point of duty again to make beautiful songs for the lady especially in this time covid19 this pandemic i don't want the people to have us scared i want the people to be beautiful comfortable listen to music sister kalonji in control judgment yard jamaica yes Yes, yes. And, you know, like you said, you know, the pandemic, you know, so many people have been affected by the pandemic. We all have, you know, if we haven't lost someone directly, we all know someone who has. So it's a very difficult time for us as a world, you know, going through this. So it's amazing to have 
you know, artists remind us why, what there is, you know, we still have love, you know, we, is, we still have to do things. While we are here, we still have to continue. And I'm, you know, you bring up Judgment Yard and I want to just touch on that quickly because I've been noticing, you know, the Sizzler Kalanji Youth Foundation, which, you know, I've been seeing a lot of things happening with that. Well, naturally, you know, um, that is where I really um, give back to the community. You know what I'm saying? Not just out of pocket, out of something, a legal foundation that's like an NGO, you know what I mean? Charitable for the nation because all over the world, people have been wanting to give to the community and not just something where it's just hands to mouth. We just give and you take something, put it in a pocket. No, we need something on record, something in taking care of Israel's nation. It's our duty to take care of the nation. We're the one in the limelight in the forefront we're the voice of the people yeah as artists we're the voices of the people so we should step up to our duty and honestly i'm honored um being the one um um who's a lot it has falling on in doing this duty for the beautiful nation and not just my nation all nations so once you're doing something for your nation you're doing it for all the people of the world so this is Sisla Kalonji judgment yard we got the museum right there always try to keep the surrounding clean cleanliness is godliness that's something i'm real that's a real common i'm um, saying in jamaica part of our culture for what learn saying cleanliness is godliness i'm always cleaning the place you know what i'm saying and something if you destroy the properties you know they, they're gonna say you're destroying the properties that's mal, um, uh, malicious destruction of the property so if you're destroying something you should be building something now because the people quarrel if you destroy something. In other words, if you should build something, they'll take care of it. So build it and the people will come. So right. we continue to build, continue to make music and not just build physically or spiritually with the most like chant naya bingi, you know, do all them things there, study your instrument, you know, study your engineering, study your book, read up your psalms and then look at things there. Listen when all people talk to you and just get the work going, you know, and just make it happy. It's easy. One, two, three for the fans a million times. Wow, but that's, so you, you know, this foundation, from what I understand, you have like somewhere where the kids can come and maybe use some studio equipment and some, you know, it's all, is this all on Judgment Yard? Yes, it's all on the property. Um, we have um, the museum where you can host any sort of event. I've wow. recently um, paved a little netball court and you got a wash station. The government called it wash station based on the pandemic. We have the wash station where you can swim a nice little pool, real cover you on the same property. You can come and learn just about any little thing concerning Rastafari. And if there's something missing, we'll call the priest from the mountain or from the Naya Bingi Center to aid us in hosting beautiful guests at Judgment Yard, 40 August Town Road. And it's a beautiful community. Lots of educated persons in the community can aid and assist persons coming here. So, yes, it's all on the property. You can come and do your music, do your recordings, professional. Uh, you know what I'm yes, you can the camp like they, they, they started keeping parties here already. Yeah, you know? I, so, mean, I see that. I think place. From where I remember, I remember like, um, was Khaled's video, was that shot on the property as well, Holy Mountain? Yes, on the same property. Yes. Amazing, amazing. And of course, you know, I, you were one of the highlights of the Sunfest virtual show shout out to joe bogdanovich and the whole sunfest crew for putting something like most that definitely. on yes you know? but most you, definitely you really took us back and that's what you were showing us in that clip of yourself and what what that was called, exactly what you're doing wow and you know you're a real pillar in your community you really are because you know and and that's not always the same for every artist everyone is an individual you know but you know some people they become they get where you know they they get money they get fame and they decide the best thing for them is to move out or move away but you have stayed you really have stayed and you are building to this day you know your community what what yes. motivates you to do that well the people <laughs> uh, most definitely the people and it's a very beautiful community you know what I'm saying? Easterly of um, St. Andrew, Kingston, beautiful mountains, canopy. You know what I'm saying? The vegetation is just beautiful with natural habitat and surroundings. And the children in the community, they're always supporting Sizzler. It doesn't matter what, you know what I'm saying? Strength, um, as, as you say, the pillar, why should you remove yourself? If you remove the pillar, the community is the only one that's pillar. 
So my duty is just to fulfill it as in the beginning when I came out and letting the people know that this mission is to remind the people of their true black selves and for them to know that repatriation is a must and we're the ones um, who should be working on this, agitating and meeting the government because the government um, represents um, the persons who are being involved in the transatlantic slave trade. So we should be agitating as people and put the love and the joy in the music and put that sense of humor there. You know what I'm saying? Have a little drama uh, about it, you know, be happy about it. You know what I mean? And just get the work going, you know, because the elders before us, ancients before us right. they got it all done very easy within a snap so it's just for us to get it done very easy we just need to unite we need to unite and agitate for the cause big respect and you know it's, it's, when, when we talk about like artists right now like you you know like you said earlier you feel honored to have this on your shoulder you don't see it as something you are burdened by but you are honored to do it and you know you are in, in in so many people's opinion a living legend you know and i just want to say by the way when we found out that you wanted to come and bring the video here and do the ig live the whole vibe team just rearranged their diaries and wanted to make this happen so shout out to vibe staff shout out to boom shots shout out to all the sizzler kalaji team that made this happen we really are honored and that is because Sizzler, you are a living legend and it's amazing that, you know, there are legends like Thank you still, still putting out music for us today, you know. Um, and, you know, you're not just a musician that is recognized in the Jamaican culture. I mean, you, you know, across genres, you can say Sizzler Kalonji and people know who you are and they will know at least a handful of some of your songs, you know. Before you came in, before you came on the live, we were just talking and saying, you know, what are your favorite Sizzler tracks? But there's countless Sizzler tracks. I mean, how many albums? You have more than 60 albums out there in the world, you know? Like you could say, yes. I don't know, Solid as a Rock, Dry Cry, uh, Crazy Jar, Holding Firm. Like it goes on and on and on. Burning up, Black Woman and Child, the real thing, Raya Son. Million but, times. <laughs> a million times, you know? Yeah. And this is where I come when I say, you know, we, people recognize your name across genres. I mean, let's not forget your international collabs. I mean, you've had collabs with Foxy Brown. Was it Come Fly With Me? Um, of course, your yeah. friend DJ Khaled. Yes. Grateful, Holy Mountain, Little Wayne, the only reason. So, you know, Buster Rhymes, Rebel Music. Joel right? Santana. Exactly. Yeah. So, so the, so the, and, and, you know, the, the music has gone deep, not just in your catalog, but in people, you know, you really have touched people's yes. hearts all around the world. I mean, you know, Good even times. for this generation, Steph Don, she, she drew for the Sizzler Kalanji for the Her In Me remix, you know? <laughs> It's, yeah. it's really amazing achievement to see. And music I, is I, life. I have... yeah. Music is life. It's fun. If you're going to be a part of something, just be a part and represent it well. Yeah? Um, music is really important to me because there was a time when Sizzler wanted this limelight just to get out there. Nothing just says to be hype or egotistic, but to get out there to shine a light, to you know, let the people know what's happening. So... Any little things such as radio interviews, television interviews, um, press conferences, and stuff like those, like um, meet and greets, like autograph signing and all those stuff. Anywhere you can get to meet the people up close and personally. That's really important to me because that's the only time I can get to reach out to the fans. We're singing for the fans. A lot of persons don't really know about Rastafara that well. A lot of people don't know about the history that well. You know what I mean? So I and I stand for the born and the unborn. The work is always going on. It never stop. It can't stop as long as we're living and existing. It can't stop because you got kids um being born today, this morning, this hour speaking now. A child is um born. Therefore the work continues. We got to do the work so that child could grow and come and know what's happening. So we can't step away from the teachings of our elders, the teachings of our parents. The basic foundation being laid and the world's being paved for us. We we're gonna take it up, we're gonna maintain it. Hence you're gonna have lots of youth saying his majesty. We always have his majesty's name ringing in every 
generation, as the Almighty said. So the music is a part of the people very much. Um, they are, the people have an equitable value in the music. They're the ones um, purchasing your music, cheering for you while you're sleeping, people um, supporting you, taking your stuff and making you big. So it's very um, respectful to those representing the people in every sense. Like uh, Mike, my, uh, Marcus Garvey said, every good leader has something to say. Rastafari, Marcus Garvey. <laughs> That is so a facts. good artist will always be making good music. <laughs> facts. Let's talk about yes. you and your journey into music because from what I understand, you went to school and did mechanical engineering. So, but then, yes. you know, you end up becoming an artist. You know, how did that happen? Like, I, I, I think I remember something about you being associated with Caveman Hi-Fi Sound System. Was that your first yes. point? Was that the first time you got into music? No, 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 no. I'm from the community of Augustown, and um, there has been a lot of sound systems here, like General, Champion Sound, Silver Arc, and a whole lot more from this community. Music has always been a part of our life, our daily um, getting around. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, we grew up listening to music, watching our parents going to um, parties, using music to do parties to get some sort of income to feed the family. You know what I'm saying? So it is only right to take that mantle and let the work um, be well. So from a very young age, I started a little singing, DJing. You know what I mean? While in the garage, I've been singing, DJing, going to school and back, I've been writing songs um, in putting songs in a little box. I've been having like exercise books in my, in my back pocket, carrying around with uh, tons of lyrics wow. until one day I did a concert at the square in Bryce Hill where a few of my friends came to me and said, Sizzle, let's go to the stage show. No one knew we can DJ. So I said, all right, let's go. And from there and then I started singing in the community and it just escalated like that. And then now oh, my dad has wow. a sound system he called it um, Black Steel. So I began doing a lot of radio styles and Black Steel, playing rhythms, cover version, listening to Sanchez, Barry Sam, and Dennis Brown, Bob Marley, and playing the versions, and go and practice the thing, you know, you know I said, and get the thing active. You know what I mean? Because you just born the other day, like you, you need with the elders. So you know, you there and then, Sizzler took up the, 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 the duty and started making songs. Leaving Augustown, going to school, going to Donoon Park Technical High School. I met a good friend of mine, Larry Bell Nevis. Larry Bell Nevis linked me up with Caveman in Nannyville. Big up Nannyville, big up Augustown. Okay. So that's how I got the link with Caveman now. Then between Nannyville and Augustown, we got another link at Toby Grove Road with Mr. Harris. Homer Harris. Homer Harris then called me Sizzler. He says, Sizzler, every day you're burning fire. Light name, light nature. You're born too much fire. We well, I look at name for Gio, Mr. Harris said, you name Sizzler. From there and then, oh, Mr. Harris and Mr. Dean Fraser now. Mr. Dean Fraser now, Mr. Harris, when after leaving school, going to 2B Grove Road, um, Blue Mountain Studio, I would just get in, in the rehearsal room and mess around the bands with you know, Paul Kastik and Birch, Mikey Fletcher, you know, Chico, Bo P, you know, foundation in the music and have myself a good time before Sanchez and those persons um, come in the studio for reggae sun fest or a show like that reggae sun splash, you know what I'm saying? So from there and then I, I began catching on until one day Mr. Fraser took me to Mr. Fattis Burrell at wow. Seven Windsor That's Avenue in my Gossip Clark Street. Yeah. From we reach on a Fattis Burrell they play a smash up. Jamaica just turn up. <laughs> and that's it. A lot of other beautiful artists um, um, was there with Sizzler during that time. Wooly parties, Wooly pa youth, big up all the youths, them were walk down them shoe zeal, forget a break in the music. Sizzler calling just a big up. Medea, you don't know. The work continue, big them up. One day we're going to get something going. So that's where it's at from there to here. Wow. Vibe. But let's not, let's, that's amazing. And of course, you know, RIP to Fatis, you know, that that exterminator label you worked on that for a while but you also linked with bobby digital who sadly we lost this year too r.i.p to bobby but you did some of your yes. best work with him too at similar times yes. right you know, two of your most essential albums black woman and child and the real thing was bobby digital right on the digital yes. B label yeah good ways so you linked with him at the same time when you and were good ways also yeah was that a same time link 
while you were working with exterminator yes yes it was um yeah simultaneously um because it was like we were always in the studio um at seven windsor avenue and i was like you know something we need to link up bobby digital you know because you have other artists coming in the studio i said daddy you know so bobby digital i look for you i said what bobby i look for you it's a fatty so so forward we are going to bobby studio and it was yeah. just fun like that and you know we be at bobby studio for the whole month we, we sing at the studio until we got like tired and said all right bobby next wow. journey and a good friend of mine louis culture and ricky rudy bling dog ricky rudy and louis culture Coco T, Aini Kamose, always been supporting Sizzla from that time. Yes. So I go on. Before meeting um, Bobby and Fatis with Zagalu, I've been doing a lot of work with Zagalu also. So um, it's there. So the music is great. You know what I mean? And we, we should just use the music to um, lead the people, continue um, letting the people having a good time. It's, 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 it's universal. It's not right. for you alone. It's for the whole entire world. Just about anyone can get in the music once you you know what you're doing and the people support you. It's the honest way in getting your bread on. You know, I don't want to leave no. out another legend. I mentioned, you know, I've been talking about living legends and, you know, we uh, we need to celebrate them while they're here. And I just remembered, you know, we can't leave out Beres. Beres was someone you lived with also, you know, and did some stuff <laughs> on Harmony House. And I had a chance to speak to Beres and he told me the story. Like he, he just, you know, he discovered you, him, you for himself and was like, what? These youth, I think you, yes, Barry Simon has always been there. Right, and you and your yes. at the time, you know, you were like new youths in the business, and Barris was like, I heard these two guys, and he was he was blown away, and that's kind of that's a great yes, harmony of. Yeah. When you say Barry Simon, you say Garnet Silk, um, Garnet Silk, Dennis Brown, Admiral Tibet, Jimmy Riley, and all those great musicians. They're tutored us they taught us a lot of things in the music and the music was just fun like i'm saying um, um it was just like studio hopping like you have highland hopping which is like studio hopping so when we're not at um, um mixing lab we we'll just bounce around by um anchor studio or we just go by scarpio or we go down father jammies down water was father jammies is another column again father jammies you know what i mean jan jan well jammies speak with them big up on herself see i've done work with a lot of these people and it was just fun and sometimes as like i said we would be like in the studio at home can say you know something we've done a lot of work here we're getting bored bam we reach on a father bury someone Father Barry Simon always be singing and making music, get the track laid. That's how I brought um, Jack Hero to Father Barry's. And I would leave Barry and I would go like down to Scorpio. It's just and in the cycle, I would go up to Father Jaro again. Wow. Kilimanjaro, Ricky Chupa, all these selectors, they're in the mix. You know what I'm saying? Mataran and Fire Links and <laughs> you're done with all of them. Yeah. Jamaica music, nice. Jamaica musician are great people. Artist selector, we love them. Big up on yourself. We're live with Vibe Magazine and Boom Shot. Judgment yeah. Yes, yes, Banging. yes. Talking about history. It sounds like it sounds like such a vibe and you know, respect to you for keeping that culture alive because it sounds like, you know, of course, reggae was born out of studio life, studio culture. We gotta big up all the people that are there. Like it's not just the artists, but the producers, the sound man, the engineer, yes. of course, all the Each sound and everyone. man, the selector. And you know, Fun. that's why that's probably, you know, I assume that's why people gravitate to reggae so much. It's just about vibes. It's a journey. It's our way of life. This is what we live. As His Majesty said, this is what life has taught us, to continue doing good. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a good thing. You know, why we wouldn't want to stop a good thing? So big respect to each and every one of them, yeah? And to those who are just getting in the vibe of listening to reggae music, welcome. <laughs> Welcome right. to newcomers in reggae music and dance style, yeah? <laughs> exactly. Let's talk, how did you get, how did the new album come about? I mean, it's, how, how did we, you know, how did you decide to put, I know, how did you put a new album like this together? Was it always in the works before the pandemic? Like you said, like you said, um, um, there has always been um, lots of Sizzler love songs, but not properly like compiled and put on an album. So I was just, you know, in and about the studios around Kingston doing all the music, still recording. And then I was like, you know, 
I need to make a new album. And when a, a good friend of mine came to me and said, Dada, it's time for you to make an album. You know? I said, yeah, I need some good rhythms. I said, yeah, and you remember Askel? I said, oh, Michael Fearman, yeah. So we went back to the studio that was um, originally where we recorded the album called um, Rise to the Occasion with Dan Carley and another great um, producer again. And on the same premises, in the same building, we recorded this album called um, Million Times. Yeah, so um, a good friend of mine, the artist being featured on the album, um, G. Mac Garfield McLean, yeah, um, he was one of the source of inspiration in getting this work out to the people. And Michael Freeman was all really crazy about having some sizzler on his tracks. So we said, okay, let's get together, get the work done. Um, we took about a week to get the album fully recorded. Yeah. And well, yeah, that's I, was how we got this album. You, I was gonna ask you about G. Mac because I haven't. Met you know, like, again, you are someone who seems, who has such a versatile, you know, style with the way you sing. I don't know, like, can you call Ooh, it sing J? D <laughs> yes, yes, you know, sing J, yeah. DJ, but you, even on this Boom album, shot style, and boom shot sing J, boom shot DJ, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but for real, for real, even though it's a whole album on love songs, I just hear you, like, you know, on motivation, you sound different. On love for money, you sound different. But it's, you know, like, even on this love album, you yes. know, it shows all your style. I just wanted to express that versatility in the music. Always, you know what I'm saying? And you have a whole lot of other artists that are very versatile, likewise. So you got to just be representing and representing well because you have others wanting this opportunity to be on a live with Boomshot, with Lam, Vibe Magazine, with Sisla Kalonji. <laughs> People need these opportunities. People need to get their voice heard. So any opportunity that presents itself to Sisla, I'm going to smash it. Yeah. You, and you have smashed it. <laughs> Congratulations again. G-Mac no. was in the studio and, and G-Mac was like, with that, uh, with the old vibes in the studio, vibing it, you know, just, you know, I mean, so, but wait, you're a DJ, you should be on that, write something. And G-Mac went and wrote something, you know what I mean? And, um, in of this interview, the title track called Million Times was done way, way before. The title track on the song, Million Times, was done way before by Robert Murphy, a Smurf, schoolers, one of my oh. first engineers from Uncle, Robert Murphy, um, um, was Fatty's um, engineer. So the song Million oh, Times wow. was done by, um, produced by Robert Murphy. And the title track Lasting Effect was done by Akim Abdul Samad from Gambia. Yeah. So it's all collaborative effort. And it's beautiful rhythms, beautiful sounds, beautiful frequencies, beautiful words for beautiful ladies. Judgment Yard. Boom shot. Vibe Boom shot. magazine. My magazine. Yeah, well, before I let you go, I just want to quickly ask, how is everything in Jamaica? Obviously, the whole world is going through a pandemic, but I want to, like, ask how it's going in Jamaica right now. Like, how is everybody coping? How is everything going with the pandemic? How is Jamaica coping right now? We're breaking up. I, I, I'm not hearing you quite clear. We're breaking up. Okay. I was, I wanted just to quickly ask about... We're know, breaking up. We're not hearing you quite clear. Oh, you know, oh the pandemic, we're just it. natural. <laughs> yes. We're natural, yeah? Yeah, man, a job, a pandemic. You know what I'm saying? We know all these things are just some simply, you know what I mean, um, Babylon oaks and the people. I think it's just having to do with separation, you know what I mean? Just to separate people from each other. Right. Because we're here, you know what I mean? Even great officials, we're not seeing them doing a lot of stuff that they should be doing that um, should be protective also. So we're really watching it um, playing out and see where it's going. But it's a normal um, time here, just like a yeah. normal day, um, like any Good. other beautiful yeah. day in Jamaica. And, you know, people, they're really skeptical about their health. So they're going to take the necessary um, precautions during the pandemic. But we're good. We're great. We're getting through. Well, it's, I heard a great line yes. once, you know, divide and rule, you know. So I guess we have been, we've been learning about this for a long time. Also, I wanted to pick up on what you said earlier about, you know, cleanliness is godliness. It's crazy because these things have been taught to us and we're now relearning these things these are the things that matter in the pandemic, right? We've got to wash our hands all the time and we've, we've got to 
be healthy, keep our immune system up. Something that actually, something that the reggae community has been, you know, singing these messages for a long time, you know, especially the Rastafari community has been talking about these like things that we need to live healthy, eat clean, eat well, eat Certainly. clean, you know, these are the things, yeah. So it's something that- Well, it's the duty of the Rasta man. Yes, perfectly so. It's the duty of the Rasta man. Um, simply, simply in the sense that Israel king is Israel's God. And you have King David and King Celestia is seated on the throne of King David and the kings to take care of the people. So the king's duty to take care of the people. Hence, Rastafari is a king. So it's Rastaman's duty to tell the people of the world what is right from what is wrong and to lead them in the right path. And that's why they've been um, chastised over the years. Rastafari is the true culture for the people. Hebrew, Israelite people, Kushite people, you know what I'm saying? So we continue the work. So the, trying to fulfill the creed. The hungry be fed, the naked be clothed, the sick be nourished, the age protected, the infants be cared for. You might not have your pocket um, filled with money, but you can still do something to let somebody or some family be comfortable or have a night dinner. So it's just about looking out for each other. So I say unity is strength. Yeah, we respect social distancing as ever before because Jamaica, our straight country, so certain things must have social distancing from us. You know, mean certain corruption and the things that like human trafficking and child abuse and pedophilia and like of dirty things, social distancing from the people. But we still have to unite. So the bad yeah. things can always have a distance from us. But the good things we'll have to accept and just live a natural, healthy life. That's the best way. So big respect to all the fans out there. Boom shot. Sees like a lunge a million times. Vibe big magazine. Respect to you, August down. Judgment yeah. Big Big, big big respect to you, Sizzler. Thank you for joining you. us. And you know, we can all, I feel like we can always rely on you for talking the truth, talking your mind making sure the message is out there yes Everybody official is like Alonja. i'm not hearing you it. And, you know like before we go as i said vibe.com for everybody here who wants to watch the new video that's premiering today on vibe.com without you from the new album million times it was directed by reggae tropics video was directed i'm not by hearing reggae. you Oh. I'm not hearing it quite clear. Okay. Uh, well, the video is directed by uh, Reggae Tropics, shot in Bull Bay, St. Thomas. So, again, we can see that here. Sizzler, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. For coming. You're and very you know, welcome. <laughs> Before I you go, let me do some big up. Gambia, <laughs> Senegal, New York, Argentina, Augustown, Jamaica. Big respects, Ghana, Guinea, Equatorial Guinea, Madagascar, Zimbabwe, <laughs> Martinique, Trinidad, Barbados, all those beautiful places. Big respect to all the fans a million times. Go get it, you know what I'm saying? Yes, and big up Luciano, Jephthah McClymon, Luciano. First time going on tour was with Luciano and the Firehouse Crew. Melbourne, Miller, Donald, Dennis, big up yourself. Paul Crasdale, you know what I'm saying? David Murray. Robert Murphy, big up yourself. Richard Bramwell, Leon, all of the exterminator crew. Mr. Borrell, Kareem Borrell, Kashik Borrell, big up yourself. And remember now, stay online, stay in school. Remember, stay in school, children. Get your education. Finish college. This is Judgment Yard. Sizzla Kalonji. Banging. Banging. Thank you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm not hearing you. I'm just reading your lips. Okay, big respect. Well Big respect. Bang it, bang it. <laughs> respect.